Day two here, and welcome back to the podcast, and and this is the DNF podcast, otherwise now known as D2 and Friends. And this week, I am here with... Uh, yeah, it's, it's What's Up Universe, my name is Creepy Monkey, and uh, yeah, I haven't been active on YouTube in a long time, and I'll get into that uh, a little later in this video. Anyway, today uh, we decided to talk about... Um, how our YouTube channels got started and who was our influences and all that stuff. So let's get started with the guest. Creepy, how did your channel get started and what influenced you oh, to make gaming fuck. videos? Okay, well, there's there is about maybe three YouTubers. Um, so I first stumbled on YouTube gaming through um, a person called Kasich Games with... He did a lot of Oculus Rift videos, and it just... It blew my fucking mind that this piece of technology even existed. Um, this was in 2014. Then, um, like, I didn't even know how the, like, the subscribe button worked on YouTube at the time. Like, <laughs> I, I... I never really watched YouTube in that way, you know what I mean? I Like, now I... Like, I would even call it a streaming service. Like, I use this constantly, which is why I'm actually thinking of getting YouTube Premium. But, um, yeah, I saw, like, this guy, Case of Games, and I just thought, like, that, you know, this YouTube thing was, like, the coolest fucking shit. Mm -hmm. So, I started watching more, and I, um found another channel. The second channel I found was PewDiePie, and then for PewDiePie I found another channel called uh, Jacksepticeye. Mm-hmm. And, and we all know that guy. Uh, yeah, <laughs> fucking loud-ass top of the morning to you, laddies. Fucking, and it was a good Jacksepticeye, you know, the one with the, the stupid uh, flat cap, you know? Yeah. Doesn't wear that anymore, you know? You know, wh this is a time when gaming channels were still gaming. <laughs> Speaking of Jack, yeah, no. guy, if you didn't yeah, know. No, no, yeah, I yeah, know. Have you, have you seen, like, PewDiePie's content? Like, I, I yeah. remember, it, like, the first video I seen by PewDiePie was uh, the video with Talking Angela, and it was the funniest shit ever. Now, you yeah, fucking go on his channel. Welcome, everybody, to Meme Review. It's like, what? And I think everyone, I, I, speaking of Jack Septicai, uh, this is kind of off topic. It's meme but, uh, time. It's meme time. I have Gather that shit friends. stuck it's... in my head because I watch this yeah, channel I know. all the time, man. I know. I know. And for those of you that didn't know this, Laugh! Which, and for those of you that didn't know this, uh, which there's probably very few of you, Jack Septicai is famous here on YouTube. He dyed his hair green again. So, yeah, as long as hair is green again now from a stream that he this did This is what week. happens when people run out of ideas. I feel like <laughs> both of us have ran out of ideas, so we've just given up. <laughs> and that's sort of what I, I have done. So, anyway, go, going back because to... Because I used to... I'm, I never, like, copied other, you know, YouTubers, but yeah. I copied basically the personality, the layout of channels, the, you know... The stuff that made their channels successful is what I tried to mimic. You know what I mean? Like, oh, okay, so their thumbnails, you know, are simple, but, you know, just are in your face and trying to get, you know, you to see them. So that's, like, a lot of things like that I really looked into because I was trying to make it my career. And then I, I feel like with the way YouTube's been over the years, though, it's, it, it, um... Jeez. Okay. Mind you, I'm stoned, so if I go on, just sorry. You know, I forgot what I was saying, but... Hey, anything yeah, YouTube... can happen on a podcast here. <laughs> I don't have any rules. Anyways, uh, I, I was just, uh, I'm also kind of wondering, what, how did, like, how did your channel start? <laughs> I was about to get into that, but, uh, how my channel started, it's like, it's like, you know, my personal life, which I'm not gonna go into, was kind of on the boring side i was trying to think of what to do and then i started watching i remember watching vanos gaming and his crew on youtube here doing like the G funny gta 5 videos back in the day me and my friends would watch that stuff and i'm just like um it'd be funny if i did some of that hence my gta funny moment series 
on here. So that's what I did. I got influenced by them. I started making videos with uh, Cannabis King and Slenderman44. And it just kind of evolved from there to where it's at now. So that's pretty much how my channel got started. Started with ah. a live stream almost four years ago to the day. So, yeah. So another question is, so let's go on to our next topic. How did we meet and how did the crew get formed? Do you remember? Oh, From your side shit. of the story. Um, yeah, I, I, I remember, but I'm stoned right now. So. <laughs> Uh, that's been a long time. It's been nearly three speaking years of, since we started wait, gaming the, together. What, okay, yeah. Um, speaking of long time, the one thing I've really noticed is um, there's been one particular game that's followed along almost, yeah, no, it's followed along three generations so far of consoles. Which GTA is, 5. in my opinion, yeah, unheard of, of games. I wasn't going to point fingers, D2, but yeah, no, what the fuck? Give us GTA 6. Shit, I'd play the <laughs> hell out of GTA 6 <laughs> if it ever gets released on the next I mean, game. They're dragging a lot. They added submarines to the game now, D2. Yes, I know. Apparently. Like, not like your little fucking marine experience. Exploration little one. No, like Fallout nuclear warhead submarines. Yeah. <laughs> I am so fucking stoked for that. That's the only thing of why I am going back. I don't know if I'm like everybody else, but that's the one thing that's driving me back to GTA again. Yeah. It's like they freaking launch a DLC just for you every time you want to fucking stop playing it. Yeah. But anyway, going back to our topic... With uh, how oh, yeah. we met so and, like, how I, that came I about. I think I met you through uh, Jester, didn't I? You met me through Slender. Because that's how I remember I met you, was through him. Maybe Jester was playing a game with Slender. Oh, yeah, you yeah, just no, had no, me no. with him. I, I met Slender through Jester, and then... Uh, okay, let, I'm just okay. I'm going to bring this shit way back. This is before you even knew me. Okay, so I fucking I was playing with Rogue one time. Yeah. Right. Like I was trying to find people to collab with, you know, because I found out that like through research that collabs will really help increase like you know your channel because you you're not only getting seen by your viewers, you're getting seen by other people's viewers. Yeah. Um. So I tried getting uh, Rogue as a collab partner. Through Rogue, I met uh, Jester. Tried getting him as a collab partner because I, I found out that all these people were doing YouTube. And I'm like, okay, yeah, no, this is great. This is good. Yeah. And then through Jester, I met Slender. Slender wasn't doing anything. And then I met you when gaming on something with Slender. I think it was GTA. Um, it could have been GTA or it could have been Call of Duty BO3. Because that was the game I was gaming on at the time. One of those two games. So basically, what I, I was doing, I was looking for um, people to collaborate with. So I was, uh, I found uh, Rogue on PlayStation, which um, you know we probably weren't talking like for probably a year because I just moved to like Southampton. Um, you know, I used to live in Hamilton. Um, so once I was trying to look for collab partners, uh, met up with Rogue. Through Rogue, I met Jester and found out that all the, like, you know, Rogue and uh, Jester were both doing YouTube. So I hit, hit them up for a collaboration, and then and through that, I met uh, Slender. And when I met Slender, um, I, uh, he didn't, and I didn't think I really found, like, a channel if he had one or not. Um, but then um, I... Uh, through Slender during a GTA video, um, I uh, found you, and then um, what I did was um, I uh, typed in your name into YouTube, and I found your channel, watched a couple of your videos, and um, from there I uh, pretty much brought the subject up and asked if you wanted to uh, collab. Yeah. And the rest was history. For me personally, it's like, I... Uh, I knew Slender my whole life, pretty much, or most of it, right? 
So he, he was one of the people that I first started gaming with when my channel started. And then, like, I met Jester through him. We And uh, I known Jester, like, maybe six months before I knew you. But I remember one day I was getting online. I got a random friend request. Or not friend request, but a party chat request from Slender, right? And I know Jester was in there and then... You were in there. That's how I met you, and I think we were either playing oh, Call so of wait. Duty or GTA. No, it was GTA. Well, I know it was either one of the two, but I wasn't so sure. No, I know it was GTA. I am a hundred percent sure because I believe I was. Uh, I believe I might and have then, been streaming it or recording it at one point. Maybe, but then uh, I'll have but, to go back and see. But then you know, it's like I, uh, I then. I ended up just adding you to the PlayStation somehow. We ended up starting to make videos together, and the rest was history. And then I met Rogue through you. So, yeah, that's pretty much how that went. And you've been appearing in my videos regularly for the last almost three years now. Damn. <laughs> that's a long time. In videos. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, now that... Now, let's get to the next subject. What are some of our favorite, like, games that we actually played and collabed on and what are that videos we appeared in on our uh, channels? Shit. That. I don't know. I'm. Here, you go first, because I'm, I'm kind of stumped. I got to figure out my list here. It's like so many of them, but uh, one of my favorite highlights was a... Uh, GTA video, a certain GTA video that you were in. Oh, don't you fucking dead. Yeah, I already know what's going in my life. I fucking hate that game. <laughs> you yeah. know, you know, you fucking know the moment I'm oh, talking about. I know. About. I know. And I, I didn't even smoke weed at that time. I have no <laughs> idea what the fuck I like. I was thinking of what I was going to say. I'm like, I'm going to insult. <laughs> this product I'm going to insult this product and because I was thinking of how much I hated that product I ended up fucking oh god you ended up yelling Pepsi better than coke in that freaking video right but when I yeah, shot you because I was I, okay I was thinking of what you said cause you said those exact <laughs> words I'm not gonna say them but, but the yeah, exact you said opposite those, words you don't of have Coca Cola is better than Pepsi. Fuck you and your opinions invalid. And I was thinking, you said it and that's what I'm going to say. And then I'm going to say it. No, I didn't say it backwards. Oh, I mean, I did say it backwards, but <laughs> I mean, it wasn't cool backwards. It wasn't like I said the exact thing I wanted to say, but in reverse. No, I said you said it the, it the way I would say it, pretty much. Yeah, and, and no, that that is like. Uh, I, I, I don't I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> just, you know that's no. my, you know that's personally my favorite clip that you were in on my channel. And I remember I even said that's going on my YouTube channel for sure. You're like it is not, damn it. Yes, it is. I have that power. <laughs> you were like freaking out, like hell, yeah, making me laugh. Yeah, I know because I was just because that that's literally the end of the world to me. <laughs> right at that point. But besides that, that's when that's where my channel started going downhill. After that, <laughs> it was exactly at that moment. I guarantee that's exactly what killed everything. Of course, another another highlights that I remember you being in was back in our Friday the Thirteenth gameplay days. That certain kill that I did on you that you always hated. The one where you kept yelling at me, how come you keep hitting me in the dick? Fuck! You know that one. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's just like, why? It, you're already killing someone. Why would you just, you know, hit them in the fucking dick? It's just overkill at that point. I, I fucking don't understand why someone would do this. <laughs> Still funny as hell to heal your reactions every time I do that one. So yeah, and then other some other favorite videos is like you know, the one where you tried, where we tried to get the fire truck on top of the uh, Mount Chiliad. Remember that one? And I just blew you up from behind oh, out of nowhere. Oh, that was. <laughs> you know, the main thing is we were trying. So hard. Jester was also disappointed in that. 
I was just being an asshole trying to get fucking footage. Yeah, that's not that's not footage. That's you were legit that's pissed like, off. That's what made it more hilarious to me. No, that's just. <laughs> Just I mean, your reaction, y'all, and you fucking I'm not, asshole. I, I'm not even going to say what I'm about to say, but because, like, I mean, this kid, it wouldn't be able to be put on YouTube. But hey, you, you know that's a moment on my channel that I'll live forever. But it was just such an inconvenience. <laughs> Jester should have known something. If you watch that clip back, Jester should have known something was going to happen when I said just drive carefully behind him real fast. He should have. He should have known then what I was planning to do. Yeah, oh yeah. I saw what on. you were doing. I, okay, this is why I was so upset with it. I knew what you were doing. I knew what was about to happen. Yeah. I I didn't want to believe it. <laughs> but you knew it was coming. I just. I was just hoping that you had some decency to you to not. <laughs> just. Just don't do it because I thought you were already pissed off of how long it took us to do that to actually get past that point. Yeah, hey, I was just. And doing then that when to be we fucking did, you blew it up, and <laughs> I just no. <laughs> is it bad that most of my favorite clips on my channel is just me just beating the shit out of you on GTA? I mean, I got five creepy abuse videos on my channel already Jeez. of just those clips alone. Over the last two, three years. Hmm. What about all the times that I kept blowing you up with the or hitting you with the ray gun out of nowhere? Okay, that. Is, okay, the <laughs> gun I hate, and I feel like everybody has hated it to the point where they won't use it on people now. But you just. Okay, let's let's talk about the the uh, what's it called? The actual gun. It was. Uh, I think it's the up and atomizer. The yeah, the up and atomizer. I don't know why the fuck that was made. In the GTA. But that is just the worst fucking gun ever. Because it it puts you down, and by the time it takes to reload it, you can't get up within the time that it can shoot again. And it has unlimited ammo. And yes, it's OP, so I admit that. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't do as much damage as some of the other guns, but the fact that it does damage and it practically stuns you so you can't move or fight back, there's, like, no yeah. chance of it. Yeah. Oh. You know, that that's what I hate about it. But, you know, there's some other parts that didn't involve me killing you that I like it's with all those funny fail times you had killing yourself too that make me laugh like one yeah, of those like, incidents is I don't have a car no you're gonna get a car watch this yo <laughs> and you just get run over and die <laughs> or that other time when I was like we were like snowball fighting on top of that roof in Chiliad right you yeah, freaking yeah, rolled. I, rolled I was the off. first person you rolled yeah. off. You just gave that scream and just died. I'll never forget that one. I'm just like, what a moron. Because it's a video. Oh, it's a fucking video game. It's scary. And then like, ah, uh, fuck. And then like this one. I remember this one. You're like, oh, I got the cops on me. Yep, I'll get the cops off me this way. Oh shit, I already lost them. Fuck. Did I just die in a downward dog style? Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't remember that. Yeah, you died in many downward dog styles. I have many pictures <laughs> of shit. I screenshotted like everything. Speaking like, of holy pictures, shit. Speaking of screenshots and pictures, you have one picture that shouldn't even exist. Oh, I, I. Wait, which one are we talking about? Okay, that that's what, that's it very was a snow vague. Update. Too. It was a snow update. It was a snow update. You were character that was doesn't... bending over, and who was standing behind him? Uh, oh, oh, that one. Yeah, no. Yeah, I, that should I never see the light of, of YouTube. I'm hanging that shit up, dude. <laughs> that should no, never literally, see... it's it. It's in That's... a frame right now. That never made the light of YouTube, nah. and it never will. <laughs> oh no, it will. I'll put it on my channel. Everybody, come to my channel. I'm doing a big relaunch in the new year. <sighs> yeah, but you know. Yeah, but you know all those videos we have, all those fail moments, like the one where me and Rogue got hey, two Google, fire what time trucks is on it? you. It's four fifty-eight p.m. 
Thank you, Google. Or what about that time when me and Rogue were squirting at you with the freaking fire trucks? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't even know how you got that. You gave Rogue that idea. You were getting this fire truck, and I was yeah, right there. Yeah, I know. I was, okay. Like, you got okay, so many you fail know, moments. Do you want to know? No, do you want to know the honest truth? About, about buying that clip. No, about my GTA character. She's a whore. Yes, but do you want to know the honest truth about her? What? She, I made her to get views. <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay, I, I, okay. Um, there's a sole principle on the interweb here of uh, YouTube, and it's called Boobs in the Thumbnail Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> And that's that's why it's a female. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Of course, there's other there's other freaking times. Let's I mean, not forget. Th I was thinking of thumbnails, and I thought, okay, well, if it's a female, I could just literally use the liquify tool to high heaven increase the <laughs> breast size, and then just fucking use her in every one of the thumbnails. Yeah, but uh, when it comes pretty to scummy thing to do. Oh, a whole bunch of people to... hopped on the streams thinking I was a gamer girl. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, when it comes to GTA skits that didn't involve, you know, killing or nothing of you, of you killing me or me killing you, it would have to be the perverted horse skit, mass skits. You remember those coming out of nowhere? Yeah, Especially burning in your gang, getting old, but it's still good. <laughs> Especially with the party boy music from Jackass in the background that I put in there. That's still funny. The same thing works for Speedo Chad in Friday the 13th. Ugh. Hold on. I'm just trying to figure out how to make slabs. I remember, I remember the first time I did that perverted horse head skit with uh, you and jester right there in the game and jester's like i'm getting the fuck out of here this is too creepy and then the bathroom glitch worked <laughs> you remember that one that was around well, the bathroom time we... glitch it's like uh the one where me and jester were in the bathroom at the same damn time on gta you live streamed well, it one was in the shower yeah but well, was it in the shower it's like no <laughs> but he tried to hold me back no. out of there <laughs> You remember that? You remember that skit? That wasn't that wasn't a glitch. Well, you were well, you remember that that it, it was at the start of one of your old streams back in the day. You remember that one? So, what are some of your highlights that we did? Ah, uh, that we I, did. I spoke, Fuck. I spoke about all the ones that I rem I like. I personally remember fondly. Uh huh. I mean, you can name off some of the ones we already talked about from your perspective, too, you know. Hmm. I'm just trying to th think. It's like no time for thinking. Probably all your plane crashes. <laughs> all your plane crashes. All your deaths in zombies. <laughs> um, I never said I was you, good. What, yeah, when you were playing Dead by Daylight with me a long time ago, like yeah. this was like early on when we were, we were like, oh, jeez. I remember Around you were the playing the Huntress. First got the game. We were in the swamp. You were the Huntress. I literally used my Claudette's black privilege to just crouch in a bunch of tall grass, and you just kept walking circles. My, my greatest moments are all the glitches, all the dumb shit that happens. Yeah. Um, and everything else from our gameplay days. Or, you know, old gamer days. Old videos. Yeah. Oh, and another so, one of my favorite. Oh, and another one. I'm, and I'm, I'm just going to mention these two others from my channel, personally. Honorable mentions here? Yep. All those oppressor kills I got on you recently. Out of nowhere. That starts of videos, you know that. I remember specifically one. It was at the beginning of a recent video this year. I hit you with the dang freaking oppressor to make you explode, and you were like, "Oh fuck!" I thought the cops did that. Yeah, they fucking did. 
then I freaking, I was one to blow you up, but, oh, and another one, old clip, when I kept kicking you off that freaking motorcycle of yours, your reaction to that was just freaking priceless, too. Remember that? Fucking bullshit. That's what it was. <laughs> That's still good, though. <laughs> and since freaking we were part of an OC and you couldn't kill me, or MC, you couldn't kill me for that, that was still hilarious, in my opinion. Just to fuck with yeah. you that way. Okay, I got a question for you. What's your worst YouTube video? Ooh, my worst YouTube video? You know, one that's up that I'm not particularly proud of. I could say my early projects, since they kind of sucked, but if I had to pick just one, <laughs> it would be my GTA Funny Moments 7 video, the seventh installment to that, considering it was edited so damn poorly and you can barely hear what anybody's saying in that video, I don't like it, but it's up there anyway, it's part of the series, it's not one that I'm particularly proud of due to the audio issues that are in it. And that oh, okay. Was, and that was shot before I met you, and before I got good at this shit. Well, yeah, no, no shit. <laughs> what, what would be, what would you consider your worst video? Oh, anything from like my first fucking videos. I love them mainly because that's where I started. That's where it all began. But yeah. god damn, they're shit videos. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I can name any of my early videos being worst. I mean, my first video on my channel wasn't even a gaming video. It was a, it was a video that wasn't even a minute long. That was a real life video of like one of my old real life friends freaking flying his damn drone around. But my, I think my first gaming video was GTA. It was a live stream back in 2017. So, and th so that's where I r officially say that my channel got kicked off from since I've been a gaming channel ever since then. Okay, now now for the opposite question. What's the best video you've ever made? Oof. I mean, I have a lot of favorites. One of my best videos I made was the one where you said your famous line, but that's not my favorite video of all time. If I had to choose, my favorite video of all time would be Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video I did with Slender, or not Slender, but uh, three of my, two of my real life friends and one really good friend that i known from the PS3. The one I did with Cannabis King, Hatch Execution, and Psychotic, or Psychotic Blood. It was, it was the one with uh, four idiots, one bullet type thing video. Ah. And if you've seen that, you know what I'm talking about. If not, you can look it up under my Call of Duty playlist. But to me, that would be like my favorite video only because the old P my old PS3 group was there gaming on it. For, and that's like a rarity when that happens. So that would be like one of my favorite videos of all time on my channel. I and, see. And what would be your favorite video on your channel? Okay, well... Right now, oh, the same video that it's always been, I have one video that has done so well in comparison to all my other videos. Are you talking about your most popular and I have video? No, yeah. It has so many views, and I have no idea why. Because I've made better videos than that, and it just... it. The lesson I've learned from it is that... Sometimes a video will just do well and you will never know why. It's just... Yeah. Even though you put all your effort into it and all this other shit... Yeah. Sometimes videos just don't do well and not to dwell over that because... It, it always seems to... Your videos never do well, but you never really think about when they actually do. You know, because when they do, sometimes it's for just, you have no idea why the fuck it does. You know, it's just, yeah, like I have no idea why that video did so well. Like it's, it's, I think it's like at like, um, almost 10,000 views at this point now. Yeah. Hold on. I'm looking this shit up. 
by the way. It's um VR Game Sisters. Yeah. But uh, let me look it up for... He had bandy so. cam in the top fucking thing. It was fucking terrible. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, hmm, your most popular video is... Yeah, yeah, it's that one. And how the hell do you have 31,000 views on that? 31,000 views? Yes. Okay, so... It's a 31K remember for when, you. Okay, Another thing about my channel, I was partnered with an NCN. Okay, everybody says NCNs are bad, and now I'm starting to realize why they're bad. It's yeah. because they take a large percentage of your revenue. Now, I didn't know how to get licensing for music, and I, I was always scared of the copyright. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've always been, a, like, you know, for, you know, legally owning, you know, the content that I'm putting out, you know? Yeah. Now... With Freedom, which is the one I was part of with, I had all this licensing for um, uh, music. But with the revenue I was making, it was 90% from that video. Oh, yeah? No, dude, watch it. Watch it. Let's look how bad it is. And it, it tell me exact. The thing is, Markiplier made a video on it. But that used to be on the top when you typed in that. Like, if you type the the fucking game's name, the game is called Sisters. If you yeah. type Sisters VR, it was the top one. When Markiplier er, made it, yeah. I literally just got pushed beneath him. That was it. Yeah, damn. I, and I got most of my subscribers from that video. I've got, like, that's why, when I had that bit of success, that's what really pushed me to continue. I mean, you got 202 subscribers right now, as of today, as of right now on your channel. And a lot of them are probably not active, and I don't know how many are going to be able to follow me over when I relaunch my channel in 2020, or 2021. I have 82 subs right now, I mean, that's not all... Well, that's, good for you, fuck. Well, that's that's you better. Had, you had, like, dude, you had 25 subscribers when I met you. Yeah. I mean, I was a small town still Cause working I'm my 50. way up. Yeah, but what's your most popular video's views? Like, I mean, not trying to be competitive or anything, but... My most popular video on my channel is... One that I don't even do commentary in. It's WWE 2K18 Legends Royal Rumble video I did three years ago. And that has 1.5 thousand views. That's my most popular video on my channel. I wish I had that many subs on my channel, but, you know, it's yeah, whatever. Well, that's, and that's the thing, right? A lot of people will look at, like, you know, the subs, the subs, the subs. But, I mean, the views, they're like, oh, I wish I had that many. But just because someone watches a video, that's not determining if they're going to subscribe or not. You want them to subscribe, so you got to work on your content for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. You want them to come back, you know what I mean? So, uh... We're a little over 30 minutes into this uh, podcast, so we just have a couple more things to discuss here with it. Where do you where do you see the channel going forward from here? Okay, for me, I've neglected my channel. I yes, have, like, you have. I'm kind of ashamed of how bad it's gone. Um, it's pretty bad over the last like year. You've been uh, appearing more on my yeah, channel I'm than yours. To- yeah, and the, the main reason for it is I used to do PC edited content. I used to have Sony Vegas Pro 13. You know, I was putting way too much money into the game. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, in, into the channel. Like, you know, I was trying to grow it, right? But I didn't have the success to grow it. So it ended up killing me. My computer just fucking died. Um, I'm going to be relaunching my channel. Um, it's going to be set to 18 plus. Um, I'm going to be pretty much playing games when stoned and shit like that. Just funny shit going on all the time, and you know that's that. So it's going to be a big difference for my channel, but it's going to be redone. I'm not aiming for money. I'm not aiming for a career. I'm just having it as just a passion, just project, just, you know, just 
I'm going to do it just to do it. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. For me, where I see my channel going, or, you know, this channel going, that you're hearing this podcast on, I'm just I'm, I'm just going to stay steady at where I'm at. I'm just going to push, you know, one video out a week if I can, whether it's with, you know, Chris over here or anybody else or a variety of different people. I want to try to get more GTA content in, try to get more Call of Duty content in, do more podcasts like this once a week, do a live stream once in a while. And, you know, I don't do this for views. Yes, the views help, but I just do this because, you know, it's something to do, gives me something to do, and I met good people like, you know, Chris and Jester and all the other friends that I know through gameplay and videos, and to me, that's the thing that counts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because without without any of this, to... without any of this, we wouldn't know each other. You wouldn't be in this video right now. Yes, so that is very very true. Yeah. And we wouldn't, and I wouldn't have had great content on ours. Who knows? If it wasn't for if it wasn't for me meeting you, I don't think my channel would have lasted as long as it did. Knowing how everyone went yeah. their separate ways. Unfortunately, yeah. you know what I mean? Plus, real life gets in the way and all that stuff. Uh, I mean, and that's the other reason why my channel has also been kind of fucked, because I've I've really moved on. I'm, I'm now engaged. Um, when I met you, actually, uh, I was dating um, an American by uh, the name of Kimberly. That was long, that was long mean, ago. <laughs> yeah. And no, um, that really don't matter. And, um, well, I mean, it does matter because it's part of my story. That's and that always will be yeah. part of my story. And then I remember after I met you, like literally that same year, I ended up in a relationship. I'm not in it with somebody. I'm not with them now. But you know, that's when my channel like really started like going to the way it is now with the once a week videos. So I have more free time on my hands. And stuff like that. I mean, it is part of my history. But, you know, and yes, my ex did appear in some of the videos at the time me and her were together. I mean, I have no hard feelings. It just, you know, it is what it is. It's freaking life. And, you know, I'm happy with who I am now. I'm happy with the friends that I make. I'm happy with the games that I play, even though it's mostly the same game all the dang time. But, you know, I can't afford buying the new games all the time, and neither can you. So it is what it is. That's why we've well, tried I mean, to make I, new content I with can, stuff. Like, I mean, I, I work, right? But I'm, I'm also trying to start my own business right now, so... Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to save money wherever I can. So, yeah, I mean, it's like, you know, well, whatever content we create, hopefully people watch it, and if they don't like it, they can wait till the next video and stuff, you know? Yeah. So, anyway, that'll... I think that'll wrap it up, um... This has been the DNF podcast, the only video where we kind of take a break from our gaming personas and just talk to you how we would in real life, you know what I mean? So that's pretty much how we're doing this. And, uh, well, and I'll subscribe to Creepy Monkey Head Games channel and I'll see you in the next one. I will be relaunching it, so there will be content there, so, yeah. Please do. Yeah. So, yeah. Subscribe to this channel, and uh, I hope you give this podcast a like. This has been a long, this has been a long <laughs> chat conversation, and uh, I will uh, talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.